Double rainbow, oh my God. Whoa, oh my God, oh my God. Leave her alone. The internet boom that happened in the early to late 2000s to find a new era of media. A sometimes creepy, sometimes weird, and most of the time was something no one had ever seen before. Though small compared to now, the basis of internet culture grew exponentially and soon everyone would use it daily, bringing topics into school conversations, work conversations, bringing up what they saw, and further connecting again once they got home on chat rooms and social media. The internet was fast-paced, and things would often move quickly. Certain memes and viral videos began to gain traction, and ordinary people could wind up relatively famous with careers off of just seemingly having fun. Companies could see the success and took advantage of the hope of potential virality, and anyone who could get in on the ground floor could end up making a lot of money. Record labels could propel their up-and-coming singers to stardom with social media or music music videos. But real-life singers weren't the only ones with the spotlight. Strangely enough, there also began the rise of singing animated characters. Characters like Miku, Crazy Frog, and the Gummy Bear all became a sensation and memes in their time. Though this may not have been a completely new concept, with the marketability that the new wave of internet held, companies began a new spin on things. Some of those mentioned characters will come up again later, but the main subject Subject for today's video is a little gray rabbit that some of you will most likely recognize. Schnuffle Bunny, I know I'm botching that, sorry, or Snuggle became a hit in Germany and soon grew to a worldwide name. In this video, we're going to go into the company, the concept, and all the juicy lore of this little guy. So grab some popcorn, get comfy, and let's jump in. In late 2004, Vernon Irvin, the executive of Verisign, a successful internet security company, bought Jamba, or is it Jamba? I say Jamba, but it might be wrong, I'm so sorry, for $270 million. Jamba at the time built mobile applications, games, ringtones, and wallpapers. The company already proved to be successful, but Vernon Irvin sought to expand the potential that Jamba had, striking a deal with Warner Music Group for an early access to hip-hop artist Mike Jones' debut album, Who Is Mike Jones, in turn creating the first artist-endorsed Jamster ringtone advertisement in the US. When Who Was Mike Jones released, it sold millions of copies and was put in top 5 albums on billboard charts. Now going as Jamster in most of the world, they began thriving with a big spike of people visiting the Jamster site as advertised in the commercials that they began airing. This was around the time when TV and internet were almost on equal levels, opposed to now when having a TV subscription is just not that common anymore. Jamba slash Jamster went from a 15 million per quarter to 150 million in a short amount of time, solidifying their worth on the early days of the internet. But the company was not without their skeletons in the closet though. Jamba would often advertise heavily on youth-oriented channels such as German Viva and MTV in 2004. They spent over 90 million on television ads in Germany alone, so it wouldn't be uncommon to see multiple of Jamba commercials in a row. Now, these aren't from 2004, but I'll give you a taste of what they were like for context because Oh my god. Oh. Check out your personal girl factor in the Jamster Club. Find out what makes you so very special. Those are just insanity. An online petition drew 200,000 signatures against the advertisements. So yeah, people did not like these commercials at all. And on a more heavy note, in late September 2006, they aired an advertisement for a hit 
themed SMS downloadable cartoon titled Der Bonker. God. Which had bathroom humor scenes with his dog, Blondie, Hitler's actual dog, and three Nazi uniformed rubber ducks. Look, I'm not German. I don't know what's acceptable and what's not. But I feel like there's a lot of different avenues to do that doesn't have anything to do with him. I don't know. I don't know. The reception was mixed with the public, however. A lot of Jewish memorial groups and politicians had spoken out against it. There's also some alleged problems with the way they carried out subscriptions with the ringtones. But put a pin in that, we'll get back to that later. Though he's not the focus of today's video, he is the catalyst that caused the popularity of goofy animated European singing creatures. Yes, I'm talking about the crazy frog. I will say the design is pretty bizarre. I mean, it's pretty horrendous. Jamster had aired TV commercials with the frog, also selling ringtones and screensavers. Similarly, the gummy bar, I'm so sorry, or gummy bear was another character created in 2006 that had the viral video, I'm a gummy bear. Fun fact, I remember watching this video when I was younger on YouTube and my mom seeing me watch it and asking me if it was a virus ballad. There were also many more animated characters on Jamster and they proved to be a marketing success. So on July 2nd, 2007, the first concept of Schnuffle were born. The creator Sebastian Nussbaum said, we wanted to create not a work of art, but a perfect market strategy. The concept art for Snuggle was done by Daniela Ulig, and then the ball got rolling. On his fandom wiki page, he is described as a gray and white rabbit with blue eyes. His age is also listed at 17, which don't know if that's correct or where that number came from, but I thought it was a weird piece of information I just had to include it but honestly I can't imagine this thing being more than eight years old why is he 17 anyway the first song in snuggles discography was the Kaisha song or snuggle song in 2007. It was a hit after 300,000 copies were sold in Europe. The single made it to the top of the charts and received platinum status. It soon was translated internationally and Jamster continued to sell it as a ringtone. The song was accompanied by this iconic animation of Snuggle singing to his carrot, or I assume that's what's going on. <laughs> the video holds up okay it's got that early 2000s liminal feel but it's cute a little little uncanny but cute when i saw the snuggle song video on youtube as a small child i remember there was this sad feeling about it and i would get really emotional when watching it i know people in my elementary school said the same thing about it yeah it was just kind of a sad song i guess the ads were on at that time too and though i can't be a hundred percent sure i think i saw them airing and i believe i saw the snuggle commercial once or twice the ads would show the bunny singing and then a number to text to get the ringtone and there's where the other problem lies with jamster the ads were allegedly misleading due to ringtones being a subscription-based service with customers being charged monthly instead of just paying for one ringtone. This made a lot of people upset and even more frustrating was that it was extremely difficult to cancel. During 2005, Jamba's German website frequently asked questions did not mention the SMS code needed to cancel all subscriptions, meaning people were just left in the dust not knowing what to do and having to pay monthly for a subscription service that was basically nothing. So needless to say, it was a little shady 
down at Jamster. I myself never visited the site. I was a little too young to comprehend what was going on. I wasn't that young. I was just a little stupid. But honestly, probably for good reason because looking back at the Wayback Machine, this website was not kid-friendly in the slightest. Just looking at the screenshots, there's exposed butts and a tab that just says hotties. Um, I didn't expect the website advertising this would look like that at all. It's kind of weird in my opinion. I don't know. If you visited this site as a child, let me know in the comments. I'm curious. Could be completely wrong, but I'm almost sure I saw the ads on kids channels like Cartoon Network or Disney Channel or Nick. Please tell me if this is right or wrong if you live in the US and remember seeing Jamster ads. I couldn't find anything to confirm or deny it online, so if you've seen these ads on TV and you remember what channel they were on, please tell me because I feel like I'm crazy. Snuggle continued to grow in popularity throughout the late 2000s and continued to release singles throughout the years. In most animations, it showed Snuggle running around, in a flowery land, riding a bike, laying down, just doing cute stuff, I guess. The voice would not sync up to animations, and what I assume was it not being prioritized because of the amount of translations they had to run through. The animations would often repeat through a handful of scenes and just continue until the video was over. They also had some phone notification animations of Snuggle tapping on the screen alerting you to a text as custom ringtones and text tones were a big thing at the time. In 2008, Jamster released Shed Party or Bunny Party and featured German singer Michael Wendler who was known as Der Wendler. Notably, when I was researching this, his wiki said he was a conspiracy theorist, which was interesting to me since not many celebrities are labeled as that. Apparently though, he thought the government of Germany were in violation of the constitution with their mandate of the COVID-19 pandemic. He stated that all German TV were a term associated with the Nazi party. He would further go on to compare the state of Germany at the time to a camp. Again, I do not know German politics, but whoa. Honestly, I did not expect in this video about a cute little bunny to be talking about Nazis twice. I'm not gonna lie. Wow, if I had a nickel for every time I was doomed by a puppet, I'd have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice, right? It's a little crazy. Anyway, back to Snuggle. There were two versions of Bunny Party, one with Wendler and one without. The video featured Snuggle and four others dancing along to the song. These other bunnies are, for all I know, unnamed, but they resemble snuggle pretty heavily. In Wendler's version, they just inserted him into the background, kind of singing and dancing next to snuggle. There is, however, one notable addition to Wendler's version. Whoa, yeah, pretty out of nowhere. Pretty random, too. I wonder who decided dancing bunny girls were needed, but maybe because of the singer, they wanted to do a little edge or something, but younger me was definitely startled after clicking that video. And looking through the comments section, a lot of people had the same experience. This song was probably the peak of Snuggle as a brand, and in my opinion, one of the best songs in his lineup. I mean, it is very catchy, I'm not gonna lie, like, I'll listen to that. In 2010, or Snugglina was introduced as the second and last named notable character in this universe. There's only two characters, okay? very small. They they run around in their little grassy voids and they are cute. Also, I know that there's audiobooks or something, but I really didn't dive that deep into them because I assume they're all in German and I don't understand German, so sorry, sorry. 
Snuggleina was meant to be his love interest. She starred in her own music video on her debut with the song Kiss Me, Hold Me, Love Me. The video had Snuggleina on a bed outside singing in front of a castle. This song, though, is a very good example of how botched the English translations could be. I'll just read like a few lyrics. Just If you live indeed your heart for me to beat, who knows today? whether tomorrow still counts. Is the world reborn anew? While not technically wrong, they're just a little out there. I don't know. It's hard to explain. You read them and you're like, oh, okay. Mm -hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm, no, that, it makes sense, but it doesn't. The Snuggle brand did appear to have some merchandise. In my research, I see plushies and phone accessories that were available, but I'm having a hard time finding any images online, mostly because I can't account for their authenticity. I'm not sure if they're fan-made or what. I did find one image of Snuggle on the creator's website, and I'd like to think that this one is authentic. I can't find many of the things mentioned in articles that were claimed to exist, so if you happen upon any items items or had any items from this brand I'd love to know or see if you have a picture or something Snuggle Bunny continued on and released his last single in 2014, named Without You. The brand was in an obvious decline, in what I assumed was predicted by higher-ups. Jamba today continues to advertise on their German website, Some but the Jamster website was discontinued sometime in 2014 to 2015. It made sense since by that time, why would you need to be buying ringtones in the first place? It just wasn't really a thing anymore. I Snuggle does have some mobile apps available on their site and, like mentioned before, audiobooks, though I have no idea how to access either and I'm not really sure if they are available where I live, but they just seem like kind of copycats of mobile games that already exist. There has been many characters introduced after Snuggle, but none as popular as this little bunny. Some of the songs have trended on TikTok again, but there has been no new songs since 2014, and it doesn't seem like he will ever come back. It's very interesting to me how something so strange and obscure in today's world could be such a booming success, only to fall into obscurity quietly and never returning. Of course, I see this as a person of the United States. If you are from somewhere else, I'd love to know your perspective or anyone's perspective anyway. Would love to know what you guys think of this brand as a whole. I was really obsessed with this bunny when I was a kid, um, but it always frustrated me with how little content was available to me and what I knew how to access at the time. So this subject definitely made little me happy. I hope you enjoyed this video. Drawing the bunnies was actually really fun. I like how it turned out. Let me know what you guys think. Please, if you would, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thank you for watching. Peace!